All right, hello everybody. Today I wanted to show you a little trick that I've used um, a couple of times, not super frequently, but uh, <clears throat> when I needed to do something more advanced with either dynamic content or within the body of the email, but I was using a drag and drop editor and I didn't have the flexibility of HTML code. Um, Customer.io makes it really easy to actually get the code from uh, anything you build with a drag and drop so that you can then re-copy uh, it in and, and then have more flexibility. So this is how that works. I've got a, just a, uh, one of their templates up here. <clears throat> and uh, in order to export the HTML, you just come up to Actions, and there's this Export to HTML. I click on that, and I will get a direct HTML file open. Uh, <clears throat> what that then ha brings me to is this, and here's all of the code. And, um, you know, for a drag and drop editor, I actually feel like, and I'm no developer, which is why this is a little bit handy, but I feel like um, it's relatively clean compared to some of the drag and drop cop like code that I've seen from other builders. So it makes it a little bit easier to work with. So then what I'll do is I'll copy all of this content, this code, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to build a new email and I will choose this code option here. And by doing so, uh, it gives me the blank here on the right preview that you can see, but I'll paste that in. It drops all the code. And then you can see when this preview updated uh, does a really good job of maintaining, like it's exactly what you wanted to see, right? So by default, they do add the unsubscribe here at the bottom, which you can take off um, if you don't want, uh, want that since it'll probably be in your code. But uh, that way now I can target, say, like I want to do specific things with uh, all of this content here, dynamic content using Liquid or something. I can do that and target it through the code as opposed to some of the limitations in a drag and drop. So cool little trick if you need to get into the HTML code, but you don't have an email designer to, to help you out.